Hi, everyone. This is Fred once again with GetMeCoding.com, and we are now continuing our series on making our coding animation. We have a helicopter here that's now flying through the sky, and if we click the green flag, we see it move from the left to the right. However, it's not moving its helicopter blades. All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to start talking about costumes. Now, if we notice here in our tabs, we have scripts, costumes, and sounds. If you click on costumes, you're going to see that you're in this editor. An editor is a tool that allows you to make some changes. I'm sure you've seen Microsoft Paint or maybe an Adobe Photoshop or some other tool where you can come in and make some changes to it. So we start to see that this particular helicopter has this as, a, as its only costume. All right. So we have to think now, how can we make this particular uh, animation change? All right. Now, I'm going to show you that... For our animation here, we're going to get rid of this particular sprite. And I'm going to take my blocks, I'm going to drag it off, and I'm also going to right click on and delete my helicopter. I'm going to show you how we can take some pre built sprites that have different costumes to make an animated action look a little bit more natural. And we're going to start doing that right now. So I'm going to grab my sprite, and I have a bunch of different sprites in here. And as you could see, I, I could pick anything I would like. Okay, so since we're at the beach, let's look for a sprite that's more beach oriented. So I came in here and I'm going to click on my category animals and I'm going to see that there's a crab now. All right, I'm going to click on the crab. Here's my sprite. If I click on costumes, notice now there's crab A. And this crab B. Something else to notice is that it says 134x90. That's 134 by 90. That's the dimensions of this particular graphic. It's something to note for a little bit later on in some later tutorials, but it's 134 pixels by 90 pixels. All right, so we have crab here, crab here. Notice the difference when I click on them? Watch over here. That's right. The claws are opening and closing. So inside the costume, we have different costumes, and we can control these with the script. So with an event on click, motion, we're going to make him go to, let's see, right here. Add that in. Now, as far as control goes, we're going to use a loop. It's going to say repeat 10 times. Now, in order for the costume to change, in order for the opening and the closing of the claws, we go to looks. This is a new one. And it says next costume. Now, if we click on it, let's watch him. He's got some fast moving claws. Watch him click again. Okay, so my next question is, how can we slow him down? All right, let's take a look at control. In the control set of blocks, I have a weight. All right, now I put it in here. The loop, this is going to go through 10 times. Next costume, wait a second. Then the next costume, then wait a second. Let's run our green flag. Now his claws are moving just a little bit slower. How can we speed it up? Do we want to add time? or make it quicker or shorter. We want to make it shorter. I'm going to make that 0.5. Now I'm going to run my green flag. And now he's making his claws change just a little bit quicker. All right, so that's really neat. We could actually change costumes that are already pre-built inside of a sprite that is in the library. 